see here so what i have told you means already we know about 2 5 uh, 9 and 10 now we, the included 3 also we have read the three table also now for example now i am going to read uh, now i am going to take uh, going to read fourth tables so when it comes for a fourth table you will be very easy what is the reason i am telling very easy means see here 1 into 4 is equal to 4 you can put it uh, automatically no problem so when it comes a 2 into 4 already we have uh, read the two tables so 2 into 4 is 8 when it comes for a 3 into 4, already we have uh, read it in a 3 table. 3 into 4 is 12. When it comes for 4th one, see here, I am just writing. First I am just writing the question. Okay, so 5 into 4, already we have read 5 into 4 is 20. Already what is the next number we have read? 9. 9 into 4 is 36. Next we have read the 10th table. 10 into 4 is 40. Now what are the number we are going to concentrate means 4, 6, 7 and 8. Only 4 number you are going to concentrate. See how now you simplified the tables very easily. So this is what I am saying. You have to reorder the tables. You cannot blindly uh, uh, memorize 2, 3, 4, 5. If you are read it will be very tough for you. So this is the proper order. First you have to read 2 tables. Second, you have to read 5 tables. Next, you have to read 3 tables. Next, 4 tables. Sorry, next 4th one, 9 tables. Next, 5, 1 third, 3 tables. Okay, children. So, after if you are very well versed in a 2, 3, 5, 9 and 10, then the remaining table will be very, very easy. See here, already we have seen 1, one into 4 already. It's a very easy. We have a no. 2 into 4, we know. 3 into 4, we know. 5 into 4, we knew already. 9 into 4, we knew already. 10 into 4, we knew already. So, remaining what are the number? We have to learn for 4 into 4, 6 into 4, 7 into 4, 8 into 4. Only for a 4 numbers we will read. So, this is a skip counting by 4 4 method. So, after 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 is the next, uh, next fourth number. So next, this is a 20, isn't it? This is a 20. So if I added 4, the answer will be 4 and 2, 24. Okay, so next if I added 4, it will be very easy, 28. Okay, next there will be a 32. So already we know that is a 9 into 3 is 36. We already knew. So this is the easiest way of learning the tables order. Now what are the number you only you have to concentrate? 4, 6, 7 and 8. Okay. So for example, I am just saying. So now you have uh, know about uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 and 10. Isn't it children? Now how many tables you know? 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 and 10. In case if you forget like a 6 into 9 or 6 into 4, 7 into 3. So if you forget it, you have some a trick to recall the next number. What is means? We, we all know about the 5 tables. Because a 5 table is very very easiest table. So we can for example we can take it 2 into 5, 10. 3 into 5, 15, 4 into 5, 20, 5 into 5, 25, okay, 6 into 5, 30, 7 into 5, 35, 8 into 5, 40, 9 into 5, 45, 10 into 5, 15. So, this is the 5 table, isn't it? So, for example, I don't know 4 into 6. I forget it. So, you can just take 4 into 5. Because 
uh, what I have told you the 5 table will be always in our mind because it is very easiest table isn't it. So just remember 20. So after 20 if you added plus 4 then the 6 into 4 is equal to 24. For example now we have forget it like a uh, 6 tables we can take it 6 into 7 you have forget it. You already know 6 into 5 is equal to 30 you already know. So 6 into 6 it is very easy because if it is 0 it with the calculation will be easy. 36. Now if you add it again 6 then the answer will be the 42. Okay, so for example, you have to take, you have to, if you have forget it, you have to recollect using the 5 tables. Okay, so because for every number, we all very well known about the 5 tables. This is a only one, uh, one uh, tips to recall the forgetted tables. So, this is a one tip. Next one is. So you should be concentrated on the same number multi, uh, multiplications. What is the same number multiplication means? So for how many number tables we have uh, read it? 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10. So for up to I am telling 2 into 2 is equal to 4. 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 4 into 4 is equal to 16. 5 into 5 is equal to 25. 6 into 6 is equal to 36. 7 into 7 is equal to 49. 8 into 8 is equal to... Okay, next 8 into 8 64. 9 into 9 81 have written here. Okay, so this is the same number table. 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 4 into 4. 5 into 5, 6 into 6, 7 into 6. So you want to remember the in, in this order also. Here first tip what I have told you. You can recollect the forgetted number through number 5. This is a one tip. Second what I have told you. You have to remember about the same series combination of number. Same combination of number like 2 into 2, 3 into 3. 4 into 4 the combination of the number. So if you if you were a well versed in the uh, same combination multiplication or a 5 tables and 5 tables means if you forget it, if you forget at any point using these tricks you can be recollect. For example I have told now, now you just forget 7 into 8 but you are well known about 7 into 7 is equal to 49. If you add 49 plus 7 the answer will be here. Okay, so this is for a safety, this is for a backup. At one point, for example, you were very nervous. If you, if you just forget it, means it will be helpful for that. Okay, you have to be at morning, you have to be when a time for... Uh, so when it's a time for reading tables, this is a very important. So we have a read the ordering of a tables and what order you have to read the tables. I have told you. But at what time in your home you have to read means at every time you want to uh, learn about the tables. For example, when you are uh, wake up, for example, if you wake up 8, 8.30 or 9 o'clock, you will go for a restroom and you will go for a brushing, isn't it? So at a brushing, you want to, before brushing, you want to tell any one table. For example, if you are very easy with the 5 tables, you can tell 5 tables, 1 into 5, 5, 2 into 5. So, after you complete at 10, you have to do the brushing. So, after you just brushing, you finish your breakfast, isn't it? So, at a breakfast to the next level, you have a lot of time to study. If you are, if not only you have to concentrate Bandi the Max, there is a any, many subjects like English, uh, other your um, state language and uh, science there is a, a more language sorry more subject is there for you for example if you are reading a science means you should take a break in between your study so in that break you can learn about this same number 
tables 2 into 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 so you have to read it okay so at the play time also before you are going to play you have to tell one any one uh, tables for example the two tables you can tell it two tables so the, if you splitted your day to day activities and you have put at the tables instead of no in that break time it's a break, you know on every break time you can if you learn one one table means you can easily complete two to ten tables in a one day so this is a very easiest re revising time the very easiest revising time okay you can jump according to the third table or you can jump according to the fifth table for example if you're jumping two times for a first that's it that is a one into two is a two next you are jumping for a, a four times two three uh, sorry uh, two three four isn't it that is for a second time so two into two is equal to four next you are jumping for a six times so this is all uh, like to how to uh, remember uh, the tables and how to learn the tables that everybody will have the blocks we can using the home building blocks we can make a two tables so if you put one block for example see here we have small small blocks isn't it that every children will have the blocks so you can build two two so this is the one into two is equal to two next two 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 and two so 2 into 2 is equal to 4. So you can learn the or you can recall the tables or from like this. Okay. Or if you are for example you have uh, tails. So there are how many tails in your uh, room. For example you have a uh, 15 rows in a one room means for example through the ta ta uh, tails you can recollect or a mosaic you can recollect the tables okay so this is how to read and recall the tables at every action you are doing newly so for wake up and brushing you are doing you are started starting the day so you have to re uh, recall the tables and before breakfast and in between the breakfast until lunch time so whatever you are doing in a day to day life before starting the action you want to tell the tables okay so this is how to uh, uh, recall and to sustain the tables for a very long time because this is for, for example you you can avoid alphabets like a b c d you can avoid when you are coming for a 6th and 7th standard almost every children will forget what is after q what after is they forget there is a no problem on that okay so when you are coming for a 7th standard if your mother tongue mother language is you are choosing a tamil you just forget it how many majority how many majority you will forget no problem but when you are coming for higher classes if you forget at 4 into 4 or 5 into 3 it will be a big problem in your higher education so you cannot avoid the basic calculation so you should be very well versed you saw what so that is the reason i am telling before doing any action you want to revise it because it will be come for lifelong time until your death okay